Hi, I am Sudip Paul. I am a garage surgery expert. Today I am going to display some uh, one of the case for full arch surgery. Okay, so where we have 3D print printed all the model and surgical guy. This is going to be something. It will be involved with bone reductions, delivering implant, and uh, we have prepared one surgical guide for implant placement. Right. So we say sequential guide. Right. So where we need to follow with the first you will be placing one surgical guide to position the indexing pin and then uh, to proceed with the immediate extractions and bone reductions we will need to uh, no, we, we use another guide where using that guide you first you will extract all the teeth and have to, uh, being helped with this guide you will be reducing the bone and then another guide we place that we say osteotomy guide to help with the implant placement and after implant placement, most of the guided surgery, we follow with the guided surgery for the immediate loading, right? To make the full arch case, full arch surgery, most precise, most easier, right? So we say with the immediate loading, right? So just let me explain what the things we have fabricated. What are the things we say always before going for the guided surgery for full, full arch complicated cases? First, try one mock-up surgery where you can you know evaluate the kind of challenges you are going to face in real-time surgery if your surgical guide will be stabilizing properly that thing you can evaluate and counter before the actual surgery so let's see so this is the model we have this is the intraoral scan we had to superimpose this intraoral scan over CVCT using the software we use blue sky plan software right so the first guide uh, we say this is to support its surgical guide okay what will be it will help just to position the fixation pin okay if you go through our previous videos of uh, you know for full arch bone reduction cases there you will get to know what are the sequential guide and how it should be used so tooth supported guide we have fabricated just to position the fixation pin so following this fixation pin indexing pin position only rest of the all the guides will be indexing with the same fixation pin position so first thing we just need to verify where is the fixation pin positions will be so we have prepared one surgical guide this is tooth supported surgical guide now you see i'm just verifying this surgical guide is not sitting properly why because i am not holding this surgical guide in patient mouth right precise precisely so this is the thing <clears throat> no, these are the fixation pin hole if you see these are the holes we have defined so if this is the same indexing pin if you are going to have in the patient mouth how we are going to determine this thing first thing that if our surgical guide is precise or not so this this thing I will stabilize the surgical guide and if I see I am giving the pressure in this you know, premolar and then I am finding that okay all the fixation pin positions are same that we have uh, no plan in the software and the same fixation pin position indexing pin positions can be achieved in the real time thing also right so stabilization should be like you know i'm while i'm stabilizing the surgical guide i'm giving pressures in the this premolar right this windows we have there only while i while i'm uh, giving the pressure then i'm getting the fixation pin right position that means my guide is accurate okay Another guide I have prepared, okay, if this guide is not, you uh, know, precisely sitting, then another guide I have with all the, uh, no palatal, without palatal engagement, only tooth supported surgical guide, okay, and there also I am getting the same fixation pin position. Why I am fabricated, why we have fabricated these two guides, just for the backup, right, so that uh, the coming time, you know, we are going to have one surgery of our doctor, right, he is going to do the surgery. So just for the backup, we are sharing two uh, surgical guide and uh, we are sharing this model also just to have the confidence, right? If the surgical guide is sitting properly in patient mouth. Okay. Once I achieve this fixation pin position, you will see the same positions will be there in the boom, right? That time, once I'm successfully achieved the indexing pin position, this is the patient. Okay. So to stabilize this surgical guide, we had to consider the undercut and to st precise stabilizations. If you notice, right, we have extracted two teeth there. I mean, canine we have extracted for 
precise stabilizations of this guide okay once fixation pin is achieved we need to use just a pilot drill to achieve this fixation pin position pilot drill okay once pilot drill once we are done with the pilot drilling we will remove this fixation pin okay we will remove this surgical guide make sure before stabilization of this guide we will need to do the immediate extractions before of this canine just to avoid undercut okay then we will achieve this fixation pin hole then we will do the extractions of this teeth okay and then on this fixation pin positions we will be stabilizing another gu guide we say it is reduction guide bone reduction guide you see with the same fixation pin we are stabilizing another guide okay so i'm just for the demonstration purposes i'm just uh, going i'm just showing displaying with the fixation pin retentions not fully inserted right so once i'm done i can do the bone reductions there right this is the bone reductions i mean no this is the amount of bone reductions we have done so before the surgery you just need to verify if my fixation pin is uh, you no know, going as per the plan position right our surgical guide is stabilization if any kind of challenges will be there in the surgical guide stabilization you will get to know in this mock up surgery only right so this is the dummy model we are sharing once you see the okay the reduction is well defined guide is working properly you just need to remove this surgical guide fixation pin and then with the same fixation pin position another guide you see this is the implant placement guide okay with the fully guided system we plan the surgical guide with blue sky bio fully guided kit okay no sorry densham kit we plan this surgical guide with the densham fully guided kit okay with the same fixation pin we are going to use we are stabilizing this surgical guide with the same indexing position that we achieve through tooth supported surgical guide okay now you see it is sitting properly the stabilization is good right you just make sure with the same fixation pin positions it should be there and once your surgical guide is stabilized properly you follow with the different drilling sequences of the fully guided system right once you think it is achieved right so another immediate loading right so you just need to remove all this fixation pin okay this is the another model for the backup oh, you see with the pickup holes we plan one uh, <clears throat> from the existing denture we converted the immediate denture into the prosthesis with the pickup holes what we have done we fabricated one model we fabricated one model with all the abutment angulated abutments you can say this is not angulated abutment we plan with the straight abutment okay so we uh, fabricated one model with the uh, existing abutment and the reduced bone so that i mean no before the surgery only again i can verify if i am going to have any kind of difficulty in stabilizing the this prosthesis okay okay so we have fabricated this bone model with the abutment and the immediate dentures we have uh, no that existing dentures we have converted into temporary with some pre made pickup holes right why we have fabricated this uh, abutment with this bone model so that we can verify you uh, know before the surgery only if there is any kind of trouble if you are going to have to sitting this temporary or to take the pickup right so i can see okay i mean no it's uh, sitting properly right so at the same fixation pin positions i will you uh, know index the fixation pin take the precise pick up of temporary and there it is see now you can take the pick ups precisely the stabilizations of the temporary is good enough with the same indexing pin positions so you can see all the guides this tooth supported surgical guide one is bone reduction then one is osteotomy guide that then once you are done with the implant placement then take the pickup with the temporary pickup holes right with the same indexing positions 
Why buckle spec surgical guide sequential guide concept just to avoid lingual flap? Okay, we say if you're going to perform an immediate extraction surgery, right? It's always better to go with buckle spec guide to avoid any kind of undercut, right? So when you see uh, no immediate extraction is involved, then we have another sequential guide concept. It is stackable guide, right? So uh, we are going to prepare another video for them, you know, to displaying uh, to display the about the how to use sequential guide in stackable concepts. Have a happy surgery. Thank you.